All right guys, so today I wanna to talk to you about how to pitch your product or service and how to convert your leads into actual clients. Now, if you're going to start a business, and especially if it's your first business you're ever gonna start, you're gonna feel pressure. You're gonna feel like, you know, I have to land my first client really fast. And you're also gonna feel pressure from people around you. You know, they're, they're gonna look at you, you're gonna start your own business. Actually, because we are sort of nervous, we feel like we really have to land our first client, we're probably gonna screw up and lose a lot of high potential clients. We're probably gonna notice that it's actually gonna take us much longer than actually needed to get that first client. Now, that's why my very biggest advice on this part would be for your first pitches, go to, to, to prospects, which aren't very, you know, not very likely to actually become a client. Because what we tend to do is we go to the companies and we think like it's such a good chance that they convert, like the high potential ones. But because we're nervous, we're new, we haven't tested our pitches yet, we will actually find out that we probably make mistakes and losing a lot of those high potential uh, leads. Now, of course, that company has to be in your niche. That's, that's important. Um, but you know, just for the first one, two, five, ten, however many you think you need, start with those who just aren't, you know, if, if they don't say yes, it's not a big problem. Now, and if they say no, and, and they will say no, of course, no one is gonna get a 100% convert rate. Um, don't be afraid to actually ask feedback. Like, why didn't you say no? Uh, because what, what could ever happen? They, they already said no. It's not like they're gonna say no again. Um, so they, they will probably provide you with feedback and then also be receptive to that feedback. Um, because a lot of times people actually ask me for feedback and I tell them I said no because of this and this and they will tell me no, no, I don't agree. Be receptive to the feedback. Gotten some practice and if you feel actually comfortable, then it's time to actually go and pitch to the leads that you think are high potential. And then we get into the pitch itself. Now, the number one thing in a pitch is start with what it actually, like the benefit for me. If you're pitching to me, what is in it for me? Is it gonna save me time? Is it gonna save me money? Let me know because I'm not gonna re remember your whole 20 minute pitch. There's one thing that has to stick and that's what you're gonna start with. Like it, it's called the hook. You know, you're gonna have to get, catch my interest really fast because as a business owner, um, and I talk out of experience, I'm probably gonna get a lot of pitches uh, people trying to sell me things and if you can't really make it clear to me really fast like what what's the benefit for me what's in it for me there's a good chance i'm not going to do it now you're also going to have to uh, provide a lot of value in the in the conversation for example i own a web development company if i go to a a, a company um, who wants a new website or a new portal done i will give them tips on their current website they could use those tips and go to their current uh, web developer and and you know improve it that's a risk I'm willing to take because I'm showing that I'm gonna provide them a lot of value and, and that value is for free. Now, something that's gonna help you a lot, a lot of actually converting your leads into actual sales, and this is pretty difficult, uh, that's learning to, to see to who you're pitching. Now, I'm always saying in general, there are four types of people. I, I know that's, that's of course a bit easy to say, but I could be talking to somebody who uh, is looking for the cheapest option out there. I could be talking to the guy who it, it doesn't really matter how much it costs he just wants the best uh, the best there is and you know if that's costs a lot of money so be it I might be talking to someone who's not looking for the cheapest nor the most expensive but best value of, or, of money or number four which is um, a bit of a combination at times as well somebody who's looking for the most environmental friendly option these days that's such a hot item um, and now what I mean to say with that, say I'm sitting across somebody who has a, a 300 euro pen he's riding with. He has um, an expensive suit. He has a, maybe he has a Rolex. It is somebody who wants to show he has money. He, it's somebody who gives about status, who, who is not afraid of spending money. If I see that, I will pitch like, listen, my company isn't, you know, it's not the cheapest. If you're looking for the cheapest, don't come to me. But if you go to me, you know you will get the best serve. You will get the best out there. I will, I will change my pitch. Now, if I see somebody's wearing, you know, the, the cheapest clothes out there, um, the cheap pen, I will change my pitch. I will, I mean, I, I can't say it, we're the cheapest because we're not, but I'll tell them, listen, if you use us, you will save so much money on this, this, and this. And then I will, I will really focus my pitch on that. Um, so that's basically what you're gonna have to try and learn to see. Um, and if you master that, if you're, you know, within like five or 10 seconds, you see, I am talking to somebody who finds status important, who wants the best deal, or he, he comes in a Prius, so he probably thinks environment is, uh, is important. And you have sort of four pitches ready that will actually really help you convert. Um, so that's basically what I wanted to say about getting your leads into clients. I hope there was of some value of you. If it was, you know, please leave me a like uh, and go follow me. I will be posting videos every Sunday.